The day started well for Nicolas Maduro. He inaugurated over 100 houses that the government has restored on the island of Margarita. This country's leftist leadership is proud of its social housing record. But Margarita, like the entire country, has other serious problems. In the midst of the world's steepest recession, food lines are common, medicine and even water is scarce. Shortly after the president's daytime events had ended, he entered the island's traditionally pro-government stronghold of Villa Rosa. It was here that the mood changed. The crowd began to jeer him, banging pots and pans, a traditional Venezuelan form of protest. Multiple videos posted on social media appear to show Maduro being forced to break briefly into a jog before confronting some of his critics. The incident came just one day after a massive march in Caracas, organized by Venezuela's opposition. It says more than a million people took part, the biggest anti-government mobilization for over a decade. The president's opponents are seeking a recall referendum to cut short his term of office. But Maduro, who on Thursday held his own rally, says he has no plans to stand down. He says his opponents are plotting a coup. Either way, the incident on Margarita is troubling for the Venezuelan authorities. In two weeks' time, the island is expecting to host a major global summit of the non-aligned movement. The government wants the focus to be on that, not this. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV. Caracas.